Miss Galavis, you stand before the court with your 28-year-old daughter, Miss Smith. Only three years ago, you revealed a lifelong secret to her. You confessed that the only man she's ever known as her dad may not be her biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Thompson, you yes. say you were in love with Miss Galavis and at first did not know you might not be her daughter's biological father. But after an argument erupted on your front lawn, you say the truth finally came out. Yes. Mr. Jackson, now you're the yes, other Your potential Honor. father, and you've never met your possible daughter face to face until today. No, I haven't, and that's thankful. Now, while you have paternity doubts, you claim to have evidence that could turn this case upside down. Yes, I do. Uh, we'll get to that evidence in just a moment, but first, Ms. Galavis, you were intimate with both of these men pretty much around the same time. Yes, Your Honor. Wow. Mr. Jackson, wow. do you remember the relationship with Ms. Galavis? Yes, I do. Please describe to the court. We met mutually through family, family and friends, and... She seemed attractive to me. We started talking at that time, and we started dating. So you were dating her? Did you have any idea that she was also dating Mr. Thompson? No, I did not. Uh, yes. Mr. Thompson, yes, you obviously Honor. remember the relationship with Ms. Galavis as well? Yes, Your Honor, I do. So, Ms. Galavis... Yes, Your Honor. When you're dating both of these gentlemen, were you telling each of them that, oh, I'm dating you, but I'm also dating other people, or did each man think you were exclusive with them? I didn't tell neither one of them. I will admit, I will wit Mr. Um, Jackson at first, and um, we had been dating for black like a year. So when you t came up pregnant, what'd you think? I thought I knew because um, when I was with Mr. Jackson, M Mr. Jackson, you went together like over a year, and I haven't, and I didn't get pregnant, so I didn't figure, you know, that he would be the father because I had met Mr. Thompson, and then, like in a couple of months, I got pregnant, so. I just was figuring that Mr. Thompson was her father. Were you using protection with both of these men during your intimate relationship? No, Your Honor. I have a calendar stating about it. Jerome, the time, please I'm hand me. The time that I got pregnant. Hand me that. Uh... Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let me understand this. This calendar outlines the window of conception. Yes, Your Honor. The blue is the date you were intimate with Mr. Jackson. The green, the date you were intimate with Mr. Thompson. And the pink color outlines the window of conception, which we can see you've had sex with both men during that time. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Thompson, you remember the day she told you she was pregnant? Yes, I remember when she told me that she was pregnant and I was excited. I was real happy. And Mr. Jackson, what about you? Well, it was uh, in a convenience store one day, if I can recall correctly. I say, uh, what happened? Are you pregnant? Yeah, it's not yours. She was very, she was very sarcastic about it. And I was like, okay. So I left well enough alone. I kept track of the time and everything. And when she gave birth to the young lady, I went there. To the hospital? Uh, yes. Again, I was told, she's not your daughter. I left well enough alone. So, after you have the baby, what happens? I was there. I Were you there the when Miss Smith was born? No. I, she wouldn't let me, she would not allow me to be at the hospital when my baby was born. You okay. wouldn't allow him? No, I was young and, and I just felt kind of ashamed and I didn't want to be with nobody at that time. I, I just wanted to be by myself because, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do. All and right. I was so, scared. I was very, I was scared about so, it. So, Mr. Jackson, so, so let me you... ask you this. At some point, you find out about Mr. Thompson. Yes. What, how did that come about? Well, uh, I had heard rumors and different things like that, and I went to his house and I confronted him. I told him, you being no, played, no, no, I told no, him, no, you no, being no, played no. for a fool, you claiming somebody no. else's child. <laughs> Simple. He claimed it was And how did child. you know he was claiming somebody else's child? How because did you know it I wasn't did, his? I did the numbers also. And the numbers, yeah. and the numbers worked out for me, too. Yeah. And I so you thought you were the father as well? Yes. That's why I showed up at the hospital. Uh, I, I and I'm sitting here today listening to her, 
him say that she said that he couldn't be at the hospital, whatnot, whatnot, and I was there, and you asked me to leave? I'm, I'm not nowhere in this picture? Come on. And so you're angry because you feel like you've yes, been, been deprived, cheated out of your I've child's life. I've been cheated life. out of 28 years. I'm sitting here looking at this young lady. I've been cheated 28 years. But never hey, stepped up. Kishan, <laughs> let How me bring you in here. How could I step up if you wouldn't let me be there? You I, was, I was there. I was you there. I was there. I was there. Yeah. You came to the I house the way my I was. Baby was born. You went over to his yeah. house way, talk, talking about that's your child, but you still live in the same place and where I was. You, why you didn't try huh. for a DNA test? How could I push the issue when a woman has told me this is not my child? How but am I going to push the issue? But you knew that you had relationship with me. You still could have yeah. came and tried it. So what you're saying and is, you didn't come is around. despite the fact that I was telling you one story, right? You should yes. have done something else. Yes, Your Honor. He could have came for it just like I could have did. How could I? But he didn't. But he didn't do it. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Who did you think your father was growing up, Mr. Thompson? Always. Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's. that's How'd you find out that he may not be, She's and Mr. Angel. Jackson could be? Um, it was just one day at the house. Uh, my mom was just first kidding around. Um, and then it got kind of serious after I had my um, child who was born with six fingers. And um, that's when she actually told me that uh, Mr. Jackson also had the six fingers as well. So it kind of ran in the family. Woo, out of the blue? After all these years, you thinking I Mr. Thompson was your father? Yes, Your Honor. So what were you thinking? What did you say? Very upset with her. Like, why did it take you so long? You know. That's the same question I have. Why did it take her so long? Because she lied to me for 28 years. It's right, it, but... It took me so long, because just like I said, I did not know. What is this you're holding? This is my evidence. What is this, sir? A picture of my hand. With the sixth finger. With yeah. the sixth finger. Can we see your hands? I don't have no six fingers. Oh, okay. And Miss Smith, is it only one child? How many children do you have that have this trait? Two, the one I have now. Um, the child you're pregnant with? Yes. You can see it on the ultrasound? Yes. And I also have a picture of my son hand as well, and the doctor Jerome, even told me that. me that it runs in the family. That if more than one child has this trait, it's likely that it runs in the family. Yes, you okay. are. I know from deep down in my heart, baby, you're mine, okay? I mean, you guys right? both say that. You. you guys I both say you. that, though. Yeah, I and know, both of you guys say that, but nobody is stepping up. Like, I'm, I I'm almost I 30 know. years old. Mr. Thompson, you say you know in your heart that she's your child, and yet this physical trait, this sixth finger, that but her I child did, has. Honor, I did research, okay? I did my research on this six finger, this six finger thing. Um, Let me see this, sir. It's hereditary. hereditary. Right? And it's not, okay, that's some hereditary And your research stuff. says what? It's some sir? hereditary stuff that, that, that it doesn't happen all the time like that. Okay, so the research does show that it can occur even if there is no other family history. And you, and you say, no, you're saying to me here today, don't be mad at your mom, don't blame it all on your no. mom. He's the only one had knowledge about being your father. But I even didn't. Even after the no, fact that no. we even got okay. communication. I did not. Even no, after the fact that we got communication. You, you knew too because you came up to the hospital. I you knew. Try. He knew because he came up to the hospital. If you, didn't, if you didn't believe that that was your child, then why did you come up to the hospital? Take a breath. I know you gentlemen are very upset. And I understand why. This is a beautiful young lady standing here saying she never felt like she had a father and nobody stepped up for her. No. Nobody. I and but, I no. but I, up. I can was see everything. how everything. Everybody in this room seems everything. so angry. The person that really suffered is her. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That's true. That's true. That was That's the true. next statement out of my mouth. Yeah. And That's true. I can't, it, no matter what happens here today, 
I can't get back those 28 years. No. But we can start here and go forward. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I'm so willing. Yeah, sure I can. want to. Yeah. Uh, and I want her sure to. Can. I really want her to know her father. Really. It's been a long, long know, time, long history. time struggling with my daughter. Yes. But like I said, even though Mr. Thompson knew that I say that that was his, his daughter, he didn't do nothing. He came like after I had my daughter, he came, he bought a little stuff for her, um, maybe gave my mama, he started off giving my mama maybe $50 because I was young. Okay, no, he, okay no, but, he, but there is a, a no, no, hold on. Hospital. There is a sad irony that here hospital. that I think is being overlooked. The man you said was your child's father, you're disappointed in him because he never stepped up. No. And yet another man who wanted to know whether or not he was your child's father so he could step up, you pushed away. <laughs> and then, Miss Smith, you're the one standing here. You look, I mean, the look on your face, I feel for you because it's like, I mean, that's a lot of confusion yes, for a it's young girl. very important to me, you know, because I'm looking to get married soon. And then and here you are having walk. children with a certain physical yes. trait and a doctor talking to you. Look, I know what being oh pregnant is like. I have a child. Yes. People talking to you about your child's medical history. People talking to you about And I don't know where it come from. I'm looking like both of them here. This <laughs> is it. I see yes. this on your face. Yes. Yes. And the more With the I trade, in, and I see, you know, myself. And the more I sit here and Mr. look Thompson. at you and watch you smile, you also have my dimples. Yes, I saw that too when I seen the picture of you, the, the cheekbones, you know, the, the, the color. So as you standing here with this man on the witness stand, you looking at a man as he's talking, and you feeling like he kind of looks like me. Yeah, both of them. Yes. And it makes you emotional. Both of them. And as and you look my at first time the defendant, them. you see parts of yourself in him. Yes. What do you so see? I don't in, know. What do you see when you look at the Mr. Height, Thompson? That's the all forehead. I see. The height. That's all I see. <laughs> you know, the height, the forehead, you know, the, the shape. And isn't that, Miss Galavis, let's just be really honest. Yes, Your Honor. Isn't that? Just awful to have to watch your daughter stare at two men that are pretty much strangers yes, and have honor. to pick at features yes, and honor. see who do I see? And I have pictures. Yes, Your Honor, but I, like I said, I was young and I was confused and I was scared and I didn't. Miss Galavis, I, I, mean, I could have told you. He knew. Miss Galavis, as you described the like time you lived in. Yes. I understand the time. Yes, Your honor. I understand why you were fearful. I can even say I understand why you lied. Yes. And I understand that you were so young, you didn't even know what you were doing. Yes, Because child. you had a man running up to the hospital trying to claim the child, but you're just pushing him away. I get that. That's what young kids do that yes. don't know. Yes, Yana. So at this point, what is everyone's hope today? I, you... want, I want her to be mine. You've I had 28 years for her to be yours. I and what have you done with them? What have you done with them? I didn't know. I keep what saying what the have you thing. done with them? Oh, Mr. You Jackson, was up at the let's get some order. I wasn't able to be up there. Let's get some order. Mr. Jackson, what are your hopes today? I hope she's mine. Even if she's not, from this day forward, that young lady don't have to want for anything as long as I have a heartbeat. That she's not. Jerome, she's not may I have the results, nothing. please? She ain't gonna want for nothing. <clears throat> she wanted for quite a bit. Yeah. She wanted a daddy for 28 years. Well, where was you at? <laughs> huh? You wasn't yeah. around. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Galavis, Smith versus Thompson, Jackson, when it comes to 28-year-old Keyshawn Smith, it has been determined that her biological father is. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Galavis, 
Smith versus Thompson Jackson when it comes to 28-year-old Keyshawn Smith. It has been determined that her biological father is Mr. Thompson. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keyshawn. Keyshawn. Thank you. Apologize, Ronald. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry that I wasn't there. Mr. Jackson, you're okay? Thank you, Joanna. Long time coming. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Joanna. Mr. Jackson, I can feel your sorrow from here and the passion you had and the anger that you thought you had missed out on such a beautiful young lady and she has grandchildren for you. I saw you ready to fill that void in her life. And I want to commend you for that because it was really, it was honorable. It really was. And look who's coming. You initially appeared in couples court due to cheating allegations, but this case was referred to me by the Cutlers due to paternity doubts. Mr. Jones, you yes. claim that after 48 years of trying to become a father, your dream became a reality. But that initial excitement turned into a nightmare as your wife admitted that she had been unfaithful. You now believe four-year-old Tamari is not your biological child, but will be crushed if the DNA results are negative. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mrs. Jones, you state you did cheat on your husband, but claim you are certain that Tamari is his daughter. You say today's DNA results will determine the future of your marriage and family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jones, tell me what your household has been like due to paternity denial. Your Honor, my household been upside down. I'm sleeping on the couch. Your Honor, I never said nothing, but I always had some type of doubt. Ever, oh. since, ever since I found out she cheated, I always had doubt. I never and you said haven't said I anything. I never said nothing, but I look at her, and I, I'm trying to see me. I'm trying to see me in her. And uh -huh. so you step so up So you don't see you in her? Sometimes. I, I had, this is new to me. I thought that he knew, because we. This he never brought this up until a little while, like a, a couple of months ago. I mean, And he didn't I, feel Tamari was his child? Yes. Yes. That's what I was under the impression of. So why do you think you're here today? I argue with him, and I would say petty stuff. I mean, she cheated on me. I never thought, you know, that I have a baby, but... So you stepped up as a dad to do the right yes, thing. I did the right thing, And yes. for the past four years, you've been there for Tamari. I, I ain't But yet. the truth is, as you look at this beautiful baby, every day you're studying her features right, going, right, I don't see me. Right. At 48, I had the baby, and it's like my world is, is turned upside down. Every time we argue, she says she ain't mine. Oh, she tells you? Yeah. Are you telling him, Ms. Jones? All right. I'm going to be totally honest. Yes, I did tell him, but, I, but that was in the heat of the moment. I did, you know, mess up in the past around this time of conceiving. And, you know, we all are human. We all make mistakes. I regret it. I'm very ashamed. Um, I'm embarrassed. But it is a doubt in my mind as well. But I really don't believe that another man could just... I mean, I know it takes one time. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think that another man just randomly can just overpower my husband's sperm. It, it just can't happen. I'm sorry. I, I... Uh, Miss Jones? <laughs> no man can overpower his sperm. Yeah, one, one time could just... Oh, uh, it my... only takes one time. I know. So let's move on, but I just want to make sure you understand. <laughs> Mr. Jones, how did you find out your wife had cheated? All right, well, I got a homeboy. He seen her leave the apartment and get in the car with other people, and he told me a couple of times about it, but I never believed him. And then I asked her about it, and then she came clean. And she told um, me. Wait, I thought at that moment our, our relationship was over. And so what would bring you to cheat on your husband? What reason did you have? Oh, well, this started all because I thought he was cheating on me. <sighs> I, I, I thought... In my head, I believed that he had 
someone and that that on the side. So I said, you know, you know, why put my all into it? So how often did you sleep with this other man? That's what I'm saying. It was. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. It was about two times. So it was twice. Yes. Not just once. No. I'm glad you're telling the truth. And it's very hard for me to do. So, Mr. Jones, I can tell you didn't know that it was more than once. I didn't know that. I didn't know, Your Honor. Well, we have discoveries on paternity court as well. (laughs) So, how soon after you found out about this infidelity, how soon did you discover she was pregnant? Like, a week later. A week later, she was pregnant. And I was with her, and I didn't want to leave her. I really thought maybe it could be mine. But I looked at my age, and I had a little doubt in it, you know? But I stuck around. I stuck around. So, wait. There's a 25-year age difference. Mm -hmm. You find out your wife is pregnant, and what goes through your mind? I couldn't believe it. I didn't think I could have a baby at that age. I was 48 years old. So you didn't think you could even produce a baby at 48 no. years old? No, because my lifestyle, you know, and I was, you know, I was in the street hanging out, doing a lot of things, and I thought maybe, you know... You this... even submitted a chart to the court to outline why you believed you weren't this child's biological father. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so you have a <laughs> sexual <laughs> timeline <laughs> where you basically say you lost your virginity in 1981 and you've had 33 years of an active sex life, and no one has ever gotten pregnant until 2014. Yes, sir. Which is your wife. Yes. That's a long time. (laughs) In those 33 years, Mr. Jones, you're saying, I've never impregnated anyone. Nobody never told me. And you've had multiple women. I had multiple women. Having sex unprotected. Unprotected. Oh, no. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Your Honor, hold on. Let's, let's, no. I didn't know that he even felt this way. He's been there from the start, Your Honor. Okay? He's cut the cord. He signed his name on a birth certificate. None of these feelings came up until... Uh, obviously, right now, so we do have some discoveries up in fraternity court. I, I am a very educated woman, and back good. I reformed from my past. My past is is one that is very, very hard to talk about. I have done and said and a lot of things that I'm not proud of today. That I would to your husband ne- to my husband. In my life period before my child, when my child changed me, she, she saved me. She was sent from God to save me. And I really wanted nothing. I don't want for this, for my past to come back and bite me. I understand. I love my husband and I want my daughter to have what I never had. But I don't want this to be. I appreciate I'm everything having, you're saying. It, it took me a long time to conceive my child. And I understand. And I, I appreciate your honesty today. I appreciate you opening up in ways that are scary. And you're being vulnerable in this moment and you're admitting that you've made a lot of mistakes. Yes, and I think that's why it's so important to have these conversations, especially when it involves children, innocent children, because we have she to get She deserves this... the world. She... That's exactly Everything right. To me. And that's what we're trying to give her in this moment. And we want her... We want her to have her dad. And I want him to have the answers that he deserves as well. I just don't want it to change anything. And, you know, I'm actually on fertility treatments and I'm trying for... So I can make sure I can say 100,000% sure that he is... The father. And you've been trying now for how long? Well, I've been... Just... For about four years, because you started trying yeah, when? Years. Since four years. Four years. Since after Tamari was born. Right. Yeah. But your husband has testified that he believes, due to his lifestyle, that he has a low sperm count, and he doesn't believe he can father children. And those three and a half years you've been trying since Tamari have been born, you have not gotten pregnant. Am I correct? You're, yeah, correct? you're correct, but we are going to the doctors to fix all of that. 
So as part of this hearing, uh, you agreed to do a sperm analysis. Yes, Your Honor. And we have those results for you. And I'd like Jerome to escort Dr. Jamila Gator into the courtroom. She will give us those results. Okay. Hello, doctor. Hi, Dr. Gator. Hi. Thank you so much for being here today. We are here talking about the paternity as it relates to beautiful baby Tamari. And Mr. Jones has expressed a real concern about his sperm count, and we need answers, so we called upon you. Okay. Can you talk to us about what a semen analysis, sperm analysis does? What can you determine from a test like that? So a semen analysis is typically used to look at a man's ability to father a child. And it looks at key components of health of sperm. And those would be the number of sperm, the shape of the sperm, and the motility or the sperm's ability to move. All right. So in Mr. Jones's case, we did a semen analysis. And basically, on a normal semen analysis, you expect to see about 20 million sperm per milliliter. And you expect to see normal shape and sperm that can move. In Mr. Jones's case, he had well under 1 million sperm. And in fact, when they looked under the microscope, there were only three modal sperm that were seen. Oh, oh my God. Three? Three. So for a 70-year-old man, let's say, you still would expect to see millions of sperm. So that's much lower than that. And even for someone who's had a vasectomy, that's someone who, you know, you'd expect to see no sperm. So his sperm count is actually closer to someone who had a vasectomy than even a, someone who's 70 or 80 years old. So, Mr. Jones, when you hear the testimony from Dr. Gator, does that further your doubt? Does that... Yes. yes. It does. Yes, Your Honor. So the truth is, this would be... A miracle, Dr. Gator, yes. if this baby was his biological child. Yes. And God can produce miracles, please. God, yes. Please. Yes, he yes, can. Yes, he can. Please, I pray. I pray. I have to ask you, do you know where the other man is? I believe so. You believe you do know where he is? But I don't want... Honestly, I don't want him in our lives. Mr. Jones, yeah. I can see the pain in your face. Your Honor, I don't understand all this. It's, it's so... It's hard right here. It's hard, hard for me to believe I don't got a little bit of sperm count. I, I don't understand. I mean, I just want to say this. Is it possible? Because when I... Around the time of conception, his sperm did something to me in, in one of the nights before conceiving, like, like weeks before because I only knew that I was pregnant around two months, you know? But I felt that night, I, I mean, the sex was amazing, way, way more better than any other night, and I felt his sperm go inside me and then, like, spread out like a spider web. And I felt I was pregnant at that moment. And then uh, two months later, I learned... Dr. Gator, we might have to give you a few weeks on this case right here. <laughs> she said, out like a spider web. <laughs> I mean, uh, certainly, you know... You can feel if the it sperm. was more forceful... And that's why motility is important. If it propelled the sperm closer right. to your egg, yeah. then that, you know, could potentially See? help that you get pregnant. You I mean, did it's that like an so artificial well. insemination, but... You did that so well, naturally. Dr. Gator. You, did that. <laughs> you brought that back down to a medical... <laughs> Okay. Well, Mr. Jones, I know we, we, you know, we had a moment where sometimes you got to laugh to keep from crying. Look, this is what I found in life. Sometimes you just have to find a minute to just have a release. But, you know, I'm concerned about you because I can see the pain on your face. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that she's not mine now. Definitely. If my sperm's like that, then maybe he's not mine. Because you've never had a semen analysis before. Never. Never. That was the first time I ever had it. Tell me about your relationship with Tamari. That's my baby. That's my baby. And let me tell you something. Blood don't change that. You hear me, Tyrone? You, you are a good father. I can you are the only father she knows. And you her father. And at 52 years of age, she would be your only child. Yes. 
have you prepared yourself for the results either way? I don't know, you know I'm, not, I'm not prepared at all. I don't know what's going to happen. That's honest. I won't make you wait a minute longer. Jerome? Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. And they read as follows. In the case of Jones versus Jones, when it comes to four-year-old Tamari Jones, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jones, you are the father. your oh, wife, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said it shot like a whale. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you both. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy. Thank you. Y'all gonna make me cry my last <laughs> time. I'm trying to hold on. I'm so happy for you all. I'm happy for myself. <laughs> <laughs>